Uh, we'll move on to our uh, next topic, and that is that Republican U.S. Senate candidate Ann Estabrook was set to appear with her two rivals, Murray Sabrin and State Senator Joe Panaccio, on NJN's On the Record taping in South Jersey today. But she canceled late this week, her campaign manager telling host Michael Aaron that her rivals were engaged in gutter campaigning and were in collusion against her. Something else came out on Estabrook this week, a video of her at the Woodbridge Republican Club that was plastered on YouTube later. We'll let you, the viewers, the viewers and our panel here, be the judge as to what it says about the candidate who's shown here literally searching for words as she was responding to a question on gun control. Also support the um, uh, waiting period and I support um, Uh, an uncomfortable uh, silence there as she searched. Uh, you know, this uh, struck me as interesting because it's made a lot of splash on the web in particular, where, and it was compared to Janine Pirro's turn in uh, New York, uh, the Westchester County DA at the time, who lost a page of her speech and was silent for uh, some long period of time while she looked for it. Um, let's go to John. Uh, how does this strike you? And can uh, headway be made by the Sabrin campaign, which is, are the folks who apparently put this up on the web, or at least his supporters? Yeah, if, if they have the money to broadcast this wider, I think, I think you can. It's tough to run for office. Not everybody's a Barack Obama and can, can speak brilliantly. Uh, but, you know, this is probably why they run people with experience. You know, you start at a lower office, you work your way up. Okay. Nick? This kind of stuff has happened forever. But YouTube has changed the world. Now you can't make a mistake. You make a mistake, it's going to be it's going to be on the internet instantly and everybody's gonna make fun of you. That's painful to watch. Yeah. But and as I say, it's, it's, this is, it's not, she's not the first one this has happened to. Mike? Fairly Dickinson poll out Friday that shows essentially nobody knows any of these candidates. No. Esther Brooke, Panaccio, and Sabrin. Right. So if, if this at all becomes people's impression of her, that really can't help. And well, can it, or is it just we uh, political junkies who go to these websites? Is this an insider's game, or or will it be well, the more? The whole campaign we'll is at this point. All it is is about who's endorsing who for which county line. So I mean, and it also happens to be precisely just under what you would need to air as a 30-second commercial. Right, I mean, it's she 24 was, seconds. Right. Yeah. So, it's all about what the mayor silence. from your home county has endorsed. I mean, that's Mark, there's uh, a, I think there's a disturbing voyeuristic quality to a lot of this stuff. Sure. And, and it becomes... Um, uh, you know, very hard to run for office, and, and and courageous for people to stick their necks out. And there's a cruelty that I think comes with some of this YouTube uh, stuff. That uh, maybe politically it will help her. She's human. I'm know? gonna I'm gonna take a, a different tack on this because I, I went to her uh, campaign announcement some months ago, and I, and I think I was subbing for Michael here that week, and I said she appeared to be a packaged candidate. The package was nice when they pushed her out onto the stage. She had the pearls and the, and the suit and the whole thing and a well-written speech. But afterward, she seemed to stumble and deer in the headlights and was not um, uh, well-versed on the issues, I thought. Um, and I don't know whether uh, it's, it's that type of voyeuristic thing or whether it's somebody who's simply not versed in the issues and perhaps needs to be to run for this type of office. Well, the voyeur is, look, we're all in the voyeurism business. Right. Cruelty, I'd like to think I'm not in that business. Right. I don't uh, want to be cruel either, but, yeah. uh, but, it, but there's it, questions to be asked. It, I think. You know, rookie mistakes are rookie mistakes. And but don't you got to get over it. You got to, you, you know. Don't you think the passing around of a video like that, uh, th there's a cruel aspect? Yes. Oh, like absolutely. The, the, you know, absolutely. Before, yes. we, before we move on to our last topic, just uh, one, one other thing I think I read where I think uh, Mrs. Estabrook had given to Democratic campaigns. Yes. I don't want to pile on here, but this is what. That may end up hurting her more. John Kerry, <laughs> uh, Democratic State, State Committee. State Committee. Oh, uh, yeah. Fair amounts of money. Linda, uh, Linda Stender, when she ran for these, in one of her assembly right? campaigns. Oh, yeah. What, what, did anybody get any read from her campaign on what all that was about? Or I'm going to guess. Go ahead. She was in business, and business people give to both sides. Big, big, real, big real estate company. All right.